I'll say it's pretty good for a Tuesday. Today, me and my husband are going out into town to see what kind of money we can find just sitting on the thrift store shelves. Okay, so maybe it's not that easy, but you would be surprised how easy it actually is. All right, so let's go. All right, we're at our first stop at local Goodwill right here. All right, we're gonna put on this GoPro strap. All right, let's go check it out. If you got kids like us, you're gonna wanna invest in one of these to help protect them from gonna harbor syphilitis. style is apparently coming back. A good keyword to use for this would be Y2K. Okabashi. I also would have picked up these Ugg slippers if they wouldn't have been kind of worn out in the heel. Maybe I should have still picked them up. Let me know if you would have picked them up down in the comments because stuff like this can still sell.
All right, guys, on to the second stop. First Goodwill was a hit. Found a lot of good items in there. Casey got a lot of stuff for himself, as usual. Sometimes Goodwill has good things for cheap. We found that football helmet. That should be a really pretty good score right there. And then Casey found that juicer. Juicer itself, you could sell it as a whole or probably make more money selling it out as parts. All right, guys, here we are, Goodwill number two. Let's see what we can find. Hey, you ready to go picking? Here we go. This pair of New Balance would have been a good pickup if they wouldn't have been ripped. Unfortunately, we just don't like to pick up shoes that have rips in them. I was so excited when I saw this game section right here. Normally we do not get this many games in our thrift stores, but I just started scanning a lot of them and most of them weren't worth it. One game that I missed though, was this Namco Museum game. I could have gotten around 20 bucks for this and I only would have paid five. Yeah, that was called a mama roo, and it's meant to rock a baby to sleep, but it was absolutely disgusting. Normally, we would buy these just to part them out because they can be some really good money for parts. The power cord can go for about 15 bucks. The little balls that the baby would play with over their head can go for 25 to 30 bucks. The seat cover that the baby would actually sit in will go for 30 to 35. The arm that would actually extend out over the baby and hold the balls can go for about $45. The bars on either side that would hold the baby up can go for 45 as well. The straps that would hold the baby in the seat and go for 25 and then they also have a newborn insert when the baby is really little to support their head some more and it can go for 30 bucks so all total that would be around 215 bucks just for parting that out but as you can see we did not get that one because it was absolutely disgusting and i pray there was no baby actually sitting in there in that condition guys so apparently our goodwills close at eight now i don't know why but we're gonna jump back at the house and show you what we got all right guys so we're back from our thrifting excursions today and even though we only went to two stores i think that we still got a lot of good stuff so we're gonna go over some of the stuff that we got and see what we can sell it for this is a shut pro air 2 football helmet it's in a little bit of a rough shape, a couple of scratches on it, but the lowest comps we found on it were around 50 bucks, and we only paid two dollars. We got this gyro cycling helmet. This model is called the Savant. These are selling new on eBay for around $55. So I think in used condition, we should be able to get at least 30 and we only paid $3.09. We found these adorable baby bogs. This is a really great brand in adult shoes and their kids and infant shoes sell really well too. This little basic black pair should go for around $20 and we paid $5.99. Like I said earlier on this juicer, we're probably gonna part it out because it has a couple little missing pieces to it. And it also looked like it took rapid fire from the poop deck. But all in all, it should clean up pretty good. The blades are already clean, so we should be able to get a good profit out of it. This is Ming Ming from the show Wonder Pets. Apparently she's supposed to skate around and sing and dance or whatever. And as long as she is working, it looks like she should go for around 40 to $50. A lot of this Wonder Pets stuff I saw was going for a lot of money. So this might be a bolo. I found this toy birch purse in the toy section. I have no idea if it's authentic or not. Not really sure how to tell. I do not do a lot of purses and things like that. So I'm 
definitely gonna have to do my research on this, but I figured for a $5 purchase, it wouldn't be that big of a gamble just to check. We picked up these crazy looking Under Armour cleats, and in this condition, I believe it can go from around $30 to $40. All right, these boots right here are called Sorrel. They're good to look out for in kids' shoes and adult shoes. We picked up these little kid size. They're going for about $30 to $35. Next, I found this giant Bose subwoofer. Anything Bose is a really good deal if you can get it cheap enough. This we paid $9.99 for, and I think we should be able to get around $100 bucks for it. We also like selling the shoe brand Asics. These are the Gel Cumulus 22s, and they should go for around $50. Next, I picked up this Matilda Jane women's jacket. I thought this was adorable, and it's new with tags. And when I looked up comps, it looks like this should go for around $40 to $50. Matilda Jane is a really great brand, and normally you find it in little girl stuff, but if you can find the women's clothing, that's a really good bolo. Both pairs of these Born Clogs are going for about $20 $25 a piece. This right here was probably the best score of the day. All four of these are Prince Graphite tennis rackets. Two of them are the Tour 700s and two of them are the Tour 600s. From what we can tell, the Tour 600s should go for around about $100 a piece. And the Tour 700s, we didn't really find any comps on them, but we figured they would be around $50 a piece. Another thing that we really like to pick up are back braces and knee braces. We got a back brace from the brand D Royal that we think we should be able to get around $30 for. We also got a Rebel Townsend knee brace that is bendable and also lockable so that it'll hold your knee in place if you need that. And we should be able to get around $50 for this. This next piece is another clothing item. It's a vintage Hawaiian shirt. It's by the brand Zuma Beach. And when I looked up comps on these, they were going for some crazy money, but none has actually sold yet. So we'll say conservatively, I'll be able to get $30 for this. So I think that was a pretty good day of thrifting. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video and comment down below. It would really, really help out our channel a lot. Until then, stay peachy.